So whenever you go to a park, you've got to make sure you know when the park closes so you don't get stuck on the trails. It's also good when you're hiking on trails to never go alone. So when you get to a trailhead, and this is a trailhead, several trails come out from it, there'll usually be a board that has a map of the park or the trail. So it's good to take a look at it. And here there are maps right on the end of the, the kiosk. You need to make sure you pay attention to the signs. And this one says that you can't dig or remove artifacts from the state property. And you've got to look out for ticks and biting insects. So they say to use repellent. Miss Kelly and I have already put our repellent on, so we're ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. Look up in the tree, Kelly. Oh, I see it. I see the hole. Is that tree alive? Looks like it still is. Oh, it does have a little bit of greenery at the very top. But those cavities are the perfect place for animals to live. Yeah, I bet some there are some in there sleeping right now. Yep. It looks like a place for raccoons and squirrels. Wow. Wow, Miss Kelly, look at that. What is it? That is a dung beetle. A what? Dung beetle. Dung's another word for poo. Oh. Feces. Yuck. Yes. So the beetle gets up on it. Maybe he'll do it. He's under the leaves right there. Wonder what he's doing. Maybe he's gonna bury it. Maybe he takes it someplace. Oh, there he goes. He's on it. Get a good look at him. Oh my goodness. That's kind of gross. See how he's behind it and pushing it backwards? Oh yeah. With his back legs? Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. So he's trying to take it back to his house or something? I guess. But dung beetles are really good because they clean up the mess that other animals leave. Yuck. I'm glad I didn't step on that. Uh-oh, where'd he go? He's under the leaves. Maybe he knows we're filming. Oh, there he comes again. See him coming out of the leaves? Oh, yeah. He's coming up. Well, if he gets that to his home, he'll have enough to eat for a month. It's taking him a long time to move. Going through these leaves isn't so easy. That's a good view of him pushing it. That's a dung beetle, all right. We probably leave him alone and let him get to his pushing. Miss Kelly. Look at all these trails. Which way do we go? I know. I, I don't remember which colored trail we picked. Do you? Well, I know we were taking yellow, but how do we know where the yellow trail is? Oh, look. There's a sign. Let's check it out. It has yellow, orange, and purple. And then up here you can see different areas of color that tell you which trail you're on. So, so we're doing the yellow one, right? Right. So that means we go straight. So okay. We're going to go down that trail. All right. Let's go. Wow, look at that. That's one of the biggest trees I think I've ever seen. Yeah, if you stand next to it, we can tell how big it is. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And we know what the name of this tree is. I think you're right. Very cool. Very cool. <coughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, look at that, a boardwalk. Oh wow. Oh, I can't wait to see what's out there. Yeah, we'll get a view of whatever's out there. Let's check it out. Yeah, it might be bears out there. No, there's no bears here, I don't think. Maybe. We need to look that up. Yeah. Hey, look at this. What is that? Wetlands Restoration Area. You can help by taking photos. What do they mean by that? Well, it means the scientists want, to, want us to take photos of what's going on out there, and then we upload the photos to that website, and oh. the scientists can study what's going on in this ecosystem. Oh, and look, Miss Julia, it says you can even take a selfie. <laughs> Over here, I was here several years ago, uh -huh. and this whole area was filled with water. The whole area? The whole area, wherever you see that brown ground, was wow. all water. See that, that grass? We've seen that in other parks where there was a marsh. Yes, I remember. So this used to be a marsh. Wow. The ecosystem has sure changed. Changed a lot. With it being so hot and dry, mm -hmm. the rain doesn't stay around. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Look, Miss Julia, another sign. We better check and make sure we're going the right way. This trail is really well maintained. Yes, it sure is. Very nice path to walk. You got to be careful not to walk in the grass here because you could get chiggers or ticks really easily. Remember that sign up front that said there were biting bugs <coughs> and Ooh. that's things like ticks and chiggers. Yes, and we don't like chick ticks and chiggers. Say yeah. that five times really fast. Ticks and chiggers, ticks and chiggers, ticks and chiggers, ticks and chiggers, ticks and chiggers. Okay, we did pretty good with that. <coughs> that tree, Miss Julia, you see it way out there? Oh. The entire tree is completely dead. Wow. Do you see any birds roosting in it? No, but I don't have my glasses on to see that far. Not my reading glasses, anyways. We'll keep our eyes open further down the trail. This is a hammock. Oh, it's really pretty. Yes, it's very dry in this area, you can see. And what kind of tree is that? I think that's a live oak tree. I think so too. Look how big the branches are. Just beautiful the way it flags over the road. Neat. that again too. Okay. Is it on? Julia, keep keep filming right over here on the ground. Do you see them? Oh my gosh. You may have to move the camera to see them. It's a big gopher turtle. I don't know. We're not supposed to get too close or touch them. But wow. Look at that and he was right on the trail. Oh my goodness, look how big he is. Or it could be a she, we don't know. Wow. I can see his little toenail claws on his feet. Look how close he's letting us get to him. We won't get a whole lot closer. Maybe we can just sit here. Look, he, I'm surprised he's not trying to crawl off. No, he's just sitting still. I hope we got this on camera really well. Me too. How cool is that? Don't want to go any closer. And you know we might have missed him because he's brown, kind of like the leaves. Good thing we were paying attention when we were walking down the trail because that is very cool. 
I guess he's not going to move. Maybe his protection is he stays really still so we won't notice him. Could be. We better keep moving so he'll keep moving. That was really good. Glad you saw that. Wow, look at his front legs. They look so powerful. I bet that's for digging when he gets in his burrows. Remember the burrow we saw at the beginning? Oh, yeah. God, he is so cool looking. Or she. We don't know. Okay, we really got to walk away now. <laughs> He's so cool. He is. I just want to keep looking at him. Bye, Gopher. He's moving now. to walk very fast or very much? Probably not, right? Well, there it goes. The coolest thing ever. He goes pretty fast. Hmm. Bet there's a rabbit further on down the road. <laughs> We're coming up to a, a juncture. We have to figure out which way to go, which path to take. I know. I know which one. Look at the post. You see the yellow arrow pointing Let's to the right? Let me get closer and I'll be able to see it. That's the way we go, Miss Julia, is to the right, following the yellow arrow, because we're on the yellow path. All right. Let's go. What kind of bug is that? I don't know. Is that a millipede or a centipede? I don't know, but he sure has a lot of legs. We'll have to look it up. Can you hear the birds, Kelly? Oh, I can. I don't hear birds like this at my house, and I even have bird feeders. You know, we've heard tons of birds, but we haven't seen very many. But you know what? What? Look, looking down, we've seen all kinds of things on the ground. Yeah, we saw the tortoise, and we saw that, I don't know, was it a millipede or centipede? We still got to figure that out. And what else did we see? Oh, the dung beetle. The dumb? No. Like, is he stupid? No. It's a dung beetle. Oh, dung. D-U-N-G. Okay. You know, animal dung. Animal poo. Oh. Oh, there goes a... What's that? That's a squirrel right in there. Oh, and there's another one on the tree. I bet they're getting leftover... There goes. And that... They're not very afraid of us, though. No, I see him now, but it's hard to see from here. I can see him kind of moving down there. He's got a nut or something in his mouth. Oh, I think I hear a woodpecker. Can we see it? I don't think so. He sounds like he's way up there. He's in this big dead tree. I don't see him, but I sure did hear him. I did, too. Let's keep looking and see what else we see. Okay. Those little white flowers with their little fluffy seed petals that are going to look like they're floating off to go reseed themselves. 
Yeah, so that's how this got to be such a big field of these. Mm-hmm. There's a pretty little white yellow butterfly right down in there. What a pretty place just to stand and watch some of the butterflies and all the seed pollen. It's everywhere. Julia, there's a lizard right on that limb. He's a brown one. Is that native to Florida? No, that's a, um, a Cuban brown anole. And there's even another littler one up on the limb above it. They move fast. Yes, they do. Oh, Kelly, you ready to eat lunch? I am very hungry. We're lucky the picnic table's here. Yeah, it's nice because it's at the end of the trail and we can relax. on the side of the bank. I think it's more of those fiddler crabs. That's cool. I wish I could see more. Look at that bird. Yeah, he's got his own little there where all that water is draining out of the marsh. I wonder what he's eating. Maybe there's little um, like dead fish or crabs that wash out in that water. And that makes for a perfect little food restaurant for him. <laughs> <laughs> His own private table. Buffet. But yeah. Seafood buffet. <laughs> yeah. There's more of those things that were on the tree, except these are brown and black. So. Yeah, they definitely look different than the other ones we saw. Hmm, I wonder what they're called. We were definitely looking that up. So, there's the tortoise in its burrow and you can see the dirt on its back and the soil on its back from it digging into the burrow. Oh yeah, look Miss Julia. I see all the dirt you were talking about that's on his back from digging. Wow, we better get out of here. Leave it alone. Yep. But that's why they have this sign up so that you don't disturb the gopher tortoise habitat. Pretty cool. Hey Kelly, look at this. The sensory trail. Oh wow. And look, it talks about different things you can smell, touch, hear, and see. Let's do it. Okay. It's a 
five line skink. He's warming up. He's a reptile. He's cold blooded. He needs to get warm. You can hear the birds chirping around here. Yeah, you really can. And look, there's a great sign that talks all about birds and bird is the word or sound. And there's a woodpecker, Carolina wren, cardinal. Mm -hmm. We can see any of those birds in there. Yeah. Next time, let's bring our binoculars. Good idea. Hawks and deer. All kinds of exciting things to see. Oh, we cool off a little bit. Yeah. Oh, here's another sign. Oh, look, and they're talking about the gopher tortoises we saw. And, hey, didn't we see one of these when we were out walking on the trail? We did. That's a giant, we saw a giant millipede. Wow. How cool. I tell you, there's no telling what you're going to see out here. No. Oh, neat. I think we're almost to the end of the trail. Oh, okay. Here's another sign. Oh my goodness, it's one of my favorite bird. The ruby-throated hummingbird. Oh, oh, I wish we could see one of those. Me too. Cool. We'll keep our eye out. Julia. I'm not sure what kind of fish this is, but if you look, he has a spine coming out of the top of his, his back, and you don't want to step on that, so it's really important not to have bare feet walking around when you're fishing on a little beach like this. It'd be very painful. We'll have to look that fish up. But look, Miss Julia, look at these shoes this nice lady has on here at the park. They're great <laughs> water shoes for for what you want to do here if you're fishing, crabbing, kayaking. Mm -hmm. So, definitely need good footwear here. Why would you want to wear footwear here? Well, you remember the fish that we saw over on the beach with the spine sticking out of his back? Yes. Even though he was dead, if you stepped on that, that could, spine could go up through your foot and be very painful. So Ouch. You definitely want to make sure you have the proper um, footwear when you come here. Something that can get wet too if you're around the beach part. But if you go on the trail hiking, of course, you're going to want want to have dry socks and shoes. Could you wear old sneakers without socks that you didn't care if they got wet? Sure. Just something to cover your feet to keep them from getting hurt or pinched by a crab or a shell or, or a spine like we saw on the fish. Good advice. We've got some down there too. Boy. Yeah. Wow, Miss Julia, there's two huge blue crabs right here. Oh, 
Oh, I wish I could. Just through my gate. Do you think one of them might bite? I think Great. Okay. Hey, Miss Kelly, look at that sign. Should you feed alligators? No, absolutely not. And that's one thing about with our crabbing that we're doing, we are using pieces of chicken. So you need to make sure that you're very aware of your surroundings. And when you're out pulling your little chicken string, you want to make sure you're not pulling up an alligator. Is there a hook on that chicken? No, there's no hook. So they could actually take it and pull it away <coughs> if an alligator got a hold of it. But for a little crab, he's just going to hang on to it and try to eat it. Okay, cool. Let's go check that other line. Okay, and we'll stay away from the alligators. Yes. We're going to go check the third bait we put out. And this is where we saw those really big blue crabs. So we, we know that they're on this side of the dam for sure. to those two crabs. They just yanked it away. They did. Okay, maybe I didn't tie it on tight enough. So next time, next time I'll have to make sure I tie it on tighter. Good idea. Ready to go fish? Yeah. Definitely a great place for fishing and crabbing. So we're going to see how we do. I see there's lots of fellas out here crabbing with their nets right now. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That bird is huge. And do you know what that is? No. Is it, well, is it some kind of stork? It's a wood stork. A wood stork. Wow. He sure did.
Hiya, Miss Kelly. What are you doing at the beach today? 